Hey book lovers, I'm Katie Dodrell. Welcome to While I Read. Today, I'm going to participate in the BookTube newbie tag. Basically, this just means I'm going to answer 10 questions about myself and why I decided to start a YouTube channel. I saw some other booktubers doing this and it looked like fun, so I decided that I would do it too. Thought it would be a good way to introduce myself, tell a little bit more about why I decided to start this YouTube channel. So here goes. Question number one, why did you start this channel? Well, I've always loved to read and I also like to talk. I'd been thinking for a while about how I could share my thoughts about books that I read with people, but I always had an excuse. I didn't know how to start. I didn't know what equipment I'd need. I didn't know if I'd have time. So on Christmas Day of 2023, I listened to a podcast that I love, Helping Writers Become Authors with K.M. Wyland, and she was discussing her top 10 books of 2023. And I just thought that's how I could start. I could list my top 10 books that I read in the past year. So all that day long, as I watched my daughter open presents and as we ate delicious food and as I spent time with family, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about what would be the best books that I read this year. When my husband Ryan and I were driving home that afternoon, I said to him, I want to start a podcast talking about books. And Ryan said, okay, but I think you should start a YouTube channel instead. And I said, I don't know how. And Ryan said, something he says a lot, we'll figure it out. And we did. I called my parents the next day and told them that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. And they were both really encouraging too. Ryan helped me figure out what equipment we'd need to film something that would look pretty good without spending too much money, and I started writing episodes. And during the first week of January, we filmed the first two episodes. Lots of things went wrong. I got really frustrated, but Ryan and my mom helped me figure things out, and somehow, here we are, still going strong, or still going at least. So to answer why I started this channel, it's because I wanted to talk about books and because I have a supportive husband and family who helped me along the way. Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Well, I read a lot. I'm always talking about the books that I've read and I'm always looking for new things to read. I hope that in talking about the books that I've read, I can help others find things that they want to read. Question number three, what are you most excited about for your channel? Well, I have so many ideas for different things that I can talk about. Of course, I'm excited to just tell everybody about what I'm reading and give them ideas for what to read. But I also have plans to do episodes about some of my favorite authors and series. I've always loved Jane Austen, and I'm planning an episode or maybe a series of episodes about her books and maybe about some of the best movie adaptations of her books. Great excuse to reread and rewatch some of my favorite books and movies. I have plans to have my daddy on the show as a guest to talk about westerns and maybe in the future to talk about some of his other favorite books to read and if you know my daddy you know that any show he's part of is going to be hilarious and fun to watch i also have plans to talk about some of my favorite comfort books books that i read when i'm sick or just need something to help me feel better so I guess I'm just excited because I have so many books to talk about and now I have a place where I can talk about them. Question number four, why do you love reading? To paraphrase Elizabeth Barrett Browning, how do I love reading? Let me count the ways. 
One thing I love about reading is that it can always distract me. I tend to be somewhat of a worrier, and I've found that a really good book can take my attention away from my worries better than anything else. When I'm totally into my book, I'm not stressing about that big meeting I have tomorrow or that mean email that somebody sent me or how I'm going to get all my grading done for school. I'm just thinking about the book. Another thing I love about reading is when I find a character or event that reminds me of myself. I remember when I first read Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery, and I loved how the character of Anne was so sensitive and imaginative and hated to be laughed at, just like me. I remember when I read The Blue Sword by Robin McKinley, And I loved that the protagonist, a girl named Harry, was self-conscious about having big feet, just like I was. I think we all need to know that we aren't alone, that other people have the same loves, hates, worries, and fears. Finally, I love to discover whole new worlds that I've never imagined. I remember when I first read the very first Harry Potter book by J.K. Rowling, how enchanted I was with the world of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It was so magical, so outlandish, yet also so real. The movies started coming out a few years after I read the first few books. And while I love the Harry Potter movies, they are not nearly as magical as the world the books created in my head. For me, nothing is as magical as reading. Question number five, what book got you into reading? The first book that I can remember reading on my own and loving was when I was in second grade. Our class went to the library and I checked out the BFG by Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl, of course, wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, The Witches, and many other books that are famous and have been made into movies. I just loved the BFG, which stands for The Big Friendly Giant. My husband Ryan tells me that BFG has another meaning in the gaming world, a very shocking meaning with a bad word in it. But to me, BFG will always stand for Big Friendly Giant. I remember enjoying the book so much and wanting to read more and checking out other books by Roald Dahl. My mom says that's when she first realized that I was going to be a reader. So Roald Dahl's books will always have a special place in my heart. Question number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? The first question I would ask is, How do you find time to both read books and create content for your channel? The second question I would ask is, what are some ways to make the filming and editing process easier? Question number seven, what challenges will be the hardest to overcome with starting a booktube channel? So far, time has been my biggest challenge. I'm a wife, a mama, I have a full-time job. In the past, I've spent most of my free time reading. Now, I'm having a way to fit in writing, filming, and editing videos. Before I started this channel, I was pretty sure that I'd enjoy the writing and filming process, and I was right. I thought I'd dislike the editing process, but I was wrong about that. I've discovered that I actually love editing. Notice I didn't say that I'm good at editing, just that I enjoy doing it. It's just hard to find the time. And ironically, I'm not reading as much as I used to because I'm spending so much time on my booktube channel. So finding time is the hardest part of starting this booktube channel. Question number eight, when did you start reading? The family story is that my grandmama, Lucy Bell, read me my first book, The Three Little Pigs, on the day I came home from the hospital as a newborn. Grandmama was a teacher, a wonderful teacher, who is loved and respected, maybe a little feared, by her students. 
she knew the importance of reading to children. So she read me that first book when I got home from the hospital, and she kept on reading to me. So I don't actually remember learning to read, but I think it was probably in kindergarten. I think I started reading on the day I got home from the hospital in my grandmama's arms. Question number nine, where do you read? That depends on where I am at the moment. I take my Kindle with me everywhere I go, and if I happen to have any free time, I will take it out and read. For example, at my parents' house, we love to ride around on the farm on what we call the trick. It's a Kawasaki mule, a farm vehicle. Sometimes Sarah will decide to get off and walk and she'll start playing and I might have 10 minutes to read my book. But I probably read the most at night in bed. We put Sarah to bed about 8 and then I go in my room and read until about 10. Of course, Sarah usually doesn't go to sleep at 8 and my reading is interrupted with her calling for some water or one more story or one more hug but I do get most of my reading done at night after she goes to bed. Question number 10, what kinds of books do you read? For the past few years, I've read mostly mysteries and thrillers. I think it's because they're usually high interest, quick page termers. It's easy to read them fairly quickly. In the past, I read a lot of classic literature. I was an English major in college. Of course, Jane Austen is my favorite. I also like fantasy. Some of my favorite fantasy authors are J.K. Rowling and Robin McKinley. Now that I have my daughter Sarah, I'm enjoying introducing her to some of my favorite children's books. I talked about Thimble Summer in my first episode. I've also read Charlotte's Web and The BFG to Sarah. I can't wait until she can read the Anne of Green Gables books. So the answer to what kind of books do you read is almost all kinds. I just love to read. Well, answering these questions was really fun. I hope you've learned a little more about me. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Now, go check the mail while I read.